Hello, welcome to Times XP. I'm Dr. Amita Murlidhar, Consultant Cosmetologist at Dr. Braces and Faces Clinic, BTM Bangalore. Today, let's talk about combination skin, why it happens and how we can take care of combination skin type, which is the most tricky skin type of all. So what is combination skin type? Combination skin type is when you have two different skin types in one skin. So how do we take care of it? Most often when people have combination skin, we see that this T-zone, what we call this T-zone is your forehead, this area on your nose, all along till your chin. This T-zone is oily and your cheeks, the sides of your lips, the sides of your eyes, all of these are either dry or normal. Or sometimes we also see that there are patches. It doesn't necessarily need to be the T-zone. There are patches of oiliness and there are patches of dry skin or normal skin. When you have such a skin, then you don't know what are the products that you need to use. If you need to use oily skincare products, if you need to use dry skincare products or normal skincare products. So let's decode this today and see what you can do if you have a combination skin type. So when you have a combination skin type, let's talk about the basic skincare. What does your basic skincare include? Your basic skincare includes your cleanser, your moisturizer, your sunscreen. So these are the basic skincare and then comes your skincare actives that you can add which enhance your skin. So let's see what you can do if you have your combination skin type. When you have combination skin, choose a gentle cleanser. Choose a gentle foam based cleanser. We get a lot of cleansers today which are gel based, foam based, creamy based. So choose a foam based gentle cleanser. This will make sure it removes the excessive oiliness. At the same time, it also gives you a little bit of nourishment, a little bit of hydration into areas that are dry. So when you choose a foam based cleanser, take one foam of it, then nicely work up a lather and wash your face and thoroughly wash it off with normal water. Never use hot water to wash your face because that is going to lead to a lot of problems if you use hot water. Next thing that you'll have to use is a moisturizer. Should you use a moisturizer if you have combination or oily skin type? Definitely, every skin type needs hydration. So use a moisturizer again, which is water based or gel based. Water based moisturizers do not clog your pores and they do not cause acne to happen or they do not cause any kind of blackheads and whiteheads to get increased if you have it in your T-zone or in your combination skin type. So make sure that you take, make dots all across and nicely blend it into your skin. But in spite of that, if you have dryness in the other areas, meaning in the drier areas, then you can use an extra moisturizer which is glycerine based. Choose a glycerine based moisturizer for the drier areas of your skin. This is especially during the winters or if you're feeling extra dryness over the drier areas. Coming to your sunscreen, always choose a gel based or a water based sunscreen. This is again something that is not going to clog your pores and give you more pimples or cause more problems to happen in your T-zone or the oily zone. Always choose a gel based or moisturizer and a gel based sunscreen for your combination skin type. What are the actives that you can use? You can use salicylic acid over your T-zone or your oily areas. You can use glycolic acid, lactic acid, you can use niacinamide. Niacinamide is a wonderful component that will take care of the excessive oiliness in this area and also not dry up the drier areas. These are some actives that you can add to your skin type if you have combination skin and you can take care of it wonderfully like any other skin type. Thank you.